So in this video we'll be showing you the Windows 10 technical preview. This is part two of a two part series and in this video we'll be showing you the actual product review of Windows 10. So as you can see the lock screen is pretty much the same as in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So if we scroll up and we can then see the logon screen. So here we can type in our username and password to our Microsoft account which we've already set up in the previous video and submit. As you can see, once logged in, it automatically goes to the desktop. And this is because of the cut down start menu, which was in Windows 8. So the first thing you'll notice when using Windows 10 is the new start screen. So in here we have a familiarized version of uh, the Windows 7 start menu. And on the right hand side, we have a space where we can customize our live tiles like in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So on the left we can see our username, this is the username associated with my Microsoft account. You can of course log in with a local account, however you will lose access to some of the features such as the Windows Store. Here we have the Documents, Pictures, PC Settings and File Explorer. As you can see the frequent options are listed on the right hand side once you hover over a particular supported app. And below here we have frequently accessed apps uh, that have previously been opened on this machine. So another feature is under the All Apps section. Here we have a combination of the applications, uh, Metro style applications, and the standard desktop style applications. As you can see, the Metro uh, apps appear first, and the folders for the standard um, apps appear second. So under here we have Maintenance, which is empty. Windows Accessories, so we have calculator, uh, desktop, all pretty much all the standard features uh, as you'd expect. We also have system tools, so we have the character map and tablet PC tools and utilities. Also there is the ease of access, so on here the magnifier, narrator and on-screen keyboard, uh, obviously what was present in previous versions of Windows. And the next thing is the Windows system. So here there's a couple of differences uh, since the Windows system folder didn't actually exist before. Here we have the command prompt, control panel, default programs, devices, file explorer and so on. If we head over to the command prompt there's actually a new version. Obviously it still follows the standard command line uh, layout however there's a couple of different changes. For example if we open notepad And if we type something such as echo hello, and if we copy it uh, here, previously we had to actually right click and paste. Now you can just right click and it'll say echo hello and copy that in. Or you can also click control and V, which will now paste it as well. And that's particularly useful if you use command line a lot. So we can run it, there we go, we get the hello message. Okay then, so the next feature in Windows 10 technical preview is the new snapping ability. Since Windows 7 there's been the ability to snap a window to the side uh, by dragging it and that was also followed in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 but now in this version of Windows we also have a few other features. So as before you can snap to the top, you can snap to the right hand side and snap to the left. But as you can see here I've got loads of windows open, I've got pictures, control panel, paints, calculator and documents for instance, if I was copying files and I wanted to snap the documents to the right hand side, we simply snap it here. And on the left hand side it fills in recommended windows uh, to fill that gap. So for example, if we click on pictures, that will fill the left hand side. Therefore if we were file copying, we could copy the files from here to here or vice versa. Also in Windows 10 technical preview, there's the ability to snap four windows. So if we just resize this back to the original size, as you can see when you drag it away in Windows 7 and 8, what it did is it snapped it back to the original size. In Windows 10 it doesn't do this, I don't know whether this is just because of it being a technical preview or the fact that uh, it's supposed to do this. But if we just snap them all back, so let's say we want to move the documents to the top right. We can do this by actually dragging to the top right and we'll get the uh, window here 
Then also put say the pictures in the bottom left. We can also see how uh, it drag in here. So bottom left to put the pictures. The control panel will snap to the top left. And in the remaining gap it's obviously recommending that paint get snapped there. Obviously because the calculator which is open isn't a full app, you can not pin it, you cannot snap it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open a Metro app, so we're going to go for the Store app. As you can see the Store app has now opened and it, instead of in Windows 8.1 it filling the whole screen, it now opens within a desktop uh, view. So that means that you can still see the other applications that are open. Uh, this is much better since obviously on Windows 8 um, any novice user would not know how to get back to the previous app that they, that they were using. So if we just drag the store app down we can also find that we're going to snap this to the right hand side and that will also snap as well. So there are two new features uh, also in Windows 10. In the technical preview is the search uh, tab here and also the task view here. So if we click on the search button we're shown essentially the start menu but the search uh, section of it. So for example if we wanted to type in uh, paint to navigate to paint we can see the relevant options so here is paint, uh, the application and also some searches from Bing paint, paint.net, paintballing and so on. So say if we wanted to open paint we can just then click it and it will open up uh, previously where we snapped it. And the next new feature is the task view. By clicking this in the left hand corner it will actually show us a uh, essentially a virtual desktop and here we can see the apps that we have open on this desktop. If we click here and click add a desktop we can then navigate to the second desktop so on this desktop we can have a new set of apps open. So for example if we open the settings, uh, we'll go for a couple of metro apps, uh, we'll also go for the calendar app, and we'll leave that there. As you can see these uh, have default uh, sizes to snap to when you uh, drag them off the uh, full screen mode. And as you can see here on the taskbar there is little indents on the bottom of the screen. This shows that those apps are open on another desktop. And obviously you can hover over them and see exactly uh, how they're open. So for example in control panel we can actually see that uh, by hovering over it, which is actually on the desktop. This is actually quite useful since if you had a set of applications open um, to use at home, you could then switch desktops to the other uh, desktop and view another set of applications for, for work maybe. Uh, so that might include a Word, PowerPoint uh, and other programs but still within the same operating system you've got separate desktops. Thanks for watching this video, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and if you haven't seen my previous video, click on the button on screen now.